hey guys you're welcome back to my channel today thank you so much for stopping by in this video we'll be drafting out this victorian corset blouse with a structured upper chest if you're interested keep on watching and let's get started so i already have my pattern paper i'll go ahead and start taking my point the first point i'll take is the distance from my shoulder to my bust point which is 10 inches the next point is the distance from my shoulder to my under bust point which is 13 inches the next point is the distance from my shoulder to my waist point which is 16 inches and the last point is the length of my blouse so the length of my blouse is going to be 20.5 inches but i'll be taking side that for this um blouse okay so i'm going to make it 22.5 inches meaning i'll be using two inches for my bust that so i'm going to mark all the points and i'll rule straight lines across as you can see me doing so i have the bust line the under bust line the waistline and my blouse length on the shoulder line which is the start of my pattern paper i'm going to take half of my shoulder measurements i'll indicate that with a dot on that dot i'll go down by one inch for my shoulder slope and i'll slant from that point into the neckline area so guys the next thing i'll do is to take my neckline measurements for the neck width i'll be using three inches and for the depth i'll also use three inches i'll go ahead and connect the two dots like this after doing that guys i'm going to go down by half of my round arm or circumference okay so my round arm or circumference is 15 inches 15 divided by 2 is 7 inches i went down on the shoulder slope by 7 inches what i'll do is to rule a straight line across that 7 inches mark which is going to give me my chest line as you can see another way to get your chest line is to go up by 2 inches from your bust line so the same measurement that i have on the shoulder line which is 7 inches i'll place that same measurement on this chest line i'll indicate it with a dot after doing that i'll connect the dot on the shoulder slope to meet the dot on the chest line like this the next thing i'll do is to find the middle point of this straight line what i'll do to place my tape like this and whatever i have there i'm going to divide it into two what i had was seven inches half of seven inches is 3.5 inches i indicated the 3.5 inches with a dot on that dot i went inward by half an inch i also indicated the half an inch with a dot on the chest line i went ahead to place my bust circumference divided by four i indicated the measurement with a dot after doing that i'm going to connect from the shoulder slope to meet the half an inch and from that point to meet the dots that i have on the chest line the next thing i went ahead to do was to take half of my nipple to nipple measurement which is four inches okay i'm taking the four inches on the blouse length on the waistline on the under bust line on the bust line and on the chest line and then i'm going to connect all the dots into a straight line after doing that this is what i have the next thing i'll do is to take in my dart so on the waistline i'm going to take one inch on both sides of this straight line and on the under bust line i'll repeat the same thing so i'm taking one one inch on both sides of the straight line i did that on the under bust line and on the waistline so i'm going to connect the two dots like this after doing that i'm going to connect from there like this to meet the blouse length and from that point also i'll connect to meet the bust line in a curve okay but the curve should not be too curvy as you can see me doing you can also use your free hand to achieve this okay i'm making it a little bit slanted and a little bit curvy if it's too curvy it's going to be difficult for you to stitch down remember we are going to be creating boning channels on this blouse okay you want to make it very easy when stitching the next thing i'll do is to place my tape on this shoulder line and whatever i have there i'm going to divide it into two so i'll fold my tape like this to get the middle point i'll mark the middle point like this and i'll use my ruler to connect from that middle point to meet the dart leg on the chest line so guys the next thing i'll do is to place my tape on the shoulder line and i'll go down by three inches as you can see me doing so this is where i want the structured um chest to start from you can see that the chest area is standing that is where i want it to start from so i'm going down by three inches 
I'll go ahead and indicate the 3 inches on this dart leg. After doing that, I'm going to tighten my over bust on that area. So on the side front, which is the side facing me, I'll take half an inch. And on the center front, I'll take one inch. I'll indicate the half an inch and the one inch with a dot. So what I'll do is to place my ruler and I'll connect from that point to meet my bust line as you can see me doing okay so i'll go ahead and do that with my pencil first and then i'm going to outline it to make it visible with my marker so this is what i have the next thing i'm going to do is to go down from my chest line by one inch you can decide to stop on the chest line but as you can see on the thumbnail the neckline is a very sharp v neckline so you can even go down from your bust line depending on how open you want the chest area to be so i'll connect from this dart leg to meet the chest area okay as you can see we have this very deep neckline and it's very sharp and that is what we want okay so i'll go ahead and outline the neckline the shoulder area and the arm o area i'll connect from this other dart leg to meet the arm o area and i'll blend it in as you can see so the next thing i'll do now is to create another style line to do that i'm going to go out from this that leg by three inches this three inches is not the standard okay you can do 3.5 inches so i took the three inches on the waistline and on the under bust line i went ahead to connect into a straight line as you can see me doing on the waistline i'm going to take half an inch on both sides okay half an inch plus half an inch is one inch so i'm taking one inch on the waistline and i'm taking one inch on the under bust line what i'll do is to connect the two dots as you can see me doing and then i'll connect from that point to the blouse length and from that point to the chest line so guys the next thing i'm going to do is to tighten this center front just so my blouse does not bulge on the center so what i'll do is to come in on the waistline by half an inch i'll indicate the half an inch as you can see from that point i'll connect okay to meet the bust line like this and i'll connect from that point to meet the blouse length okay so we are going to cut this part out after doing that guys i'll go ahead and start placing my measurements on the um, chest line i already have my bust circumference divided by four what i'll do is to replace the um that and i'm going to add my stitching allowance on the under bust line i'll place my under bust circumference divided by four i'll replace the that okay this first that which is um two inches and i'll replace this one which is one inch and then i'll go ahead and add my stitching allowance on the waistline i'll place my waist circumference divided by four i'll replace the dart also and i'll go ahead and add my stitching allowance on the blouse length i'll place my hip circumference divided by four i'll add half an inch to that measurement okay and then i'll go ahead and also add my stitching allowance after doing that, I'll connect all the dots together. After connecting the line, this is what I have. The next thing I'll do is to go up on the blouse line by 1.5 inches and I'll come inward by another 1.5 inches. I'll connect like this and I'll blend from that point to the center front this is because i don't want the down part of this blouse to be straight but you can leave yours if you want it to be straight the next thing i'll do is to take my side um that to do that i'll go down from the bust line by two inches like i mentioned earlier i'll be using two inches for my bust that and that is because the difference between my shoulder to waist in front and my shoulder to waist 
in back is 2 inches. The distance from my shoulder to my waist in front is 16 inches, while the distance from my shoulder to my waist at the back is 14 inches. So this pattern paper, the front is 2 inches longer than the back. So I'm using the 2 inches to take in my bust that. I hope you guys are not confused. Yours might be 1.5 inches, yours might be 3 inches. So it totally depends on you. I connected from that point to meet my bust point as you can see i slanted from that point to meet the bust point so i'm going to close up this dart to do that i'm going to open one side of the dart and i'm going to slash through the center of this shoulder area as you can see me doing so i'm going to cover the bust that up as you can see and i'll hold it down using my masking tape once i take in this dart this um pattern paper will become 20.5 inches which is the actual length of our blouse i've used two inches to take in my dart okay i just hope you guys are not confused if you have any questions just go ahead and leave it in the comment section so after doing that go ahead and make sure your dart is sitting well and then go ahead and cut pay close attention so you know where to cut After cutting guys this is what i have i have number one which is my center front number two and number three so when cutting your number one should be on fold so guys for the back i've gone ahead to roll out my points okay i have my chest line which is eight inches my bust line 10 inches i'm not using on that bust for the back um waist point 16 inches and my blouse length which is 20.5 inches so i'm not taking both that for the back so i have the exact blouse length on this pattern paper so the back is two inches shorter than the front pattern paper okay so the next thing i did was to take off of my shoulder measurements on the shoulder line I also went down by one inch for my shoulder slope and I slanted into the neckline area. For the neck um, measurements, I took three inches for the neck width and three inches for the neck depth. Okay, I went down by half of my round arm circumference, which is seven inches. I went ahead to mark the middle point and on the chest line, I'm placing my bust circumference divided by four. I also go ahead and indicate that with a dot. After doing that, I'm going to connect from the center of this straight line to meet that measurement. And I'll go ahead and outline the neckline, the arm or area and the shoulder area. The next thing I'll do is to take half of my nipple to nipple measurement, which is 4 inches. I'll take that on the blouse length on the waistline, on the bust line and on the chest line. And I'll connect the dots into a straight line. So as you can see, I did not add zipper allowance to this back pattern because i'm not adding zipper to it so the next thing i'll do is to take in my dart so on both sides of this straight line on the waistline i'm going to be taking half inch okay half inch on both sides i'll connect to meet the bust line as you can see me doing after doing that i'll go ahead and start placing my measurement before i do that i'll determine the neckline for the back so we are not using the yoke so i want my own neckline to start from the chest line that's why i outlined the chest line using my marker the next now to start placing my measurements i already have my bust circumference divided by four on the chest line i went ahead to add my stitching allowance on the waistline i'll place my waist circumference divided by four I replace this dart of one inch i'll add another one inch for another dart which i'm going to take and i'm going to place my stitching allowance the blouse length i'll place my hip circumference divided by four i'll add half inch and i'll add my stitching allowance after doing that, I'll connect the dots together. So guys, next thing I'll do is to create another style line. To do that, I'll place my tape on this dart leg and I'll divide what I have into two. So I'm doing this on the bust line. Okay, I'm going to fold my tape like this to get the middle point and I'm going to mark 
after doing that i'm going to connect into a straight line and i'm going to take in another that remember i left one inch for that so what i'll do on the waistline and i left the one inch on the waistline so on the waistline i'll take half an inch on both sides of this straight line and i'll connect to the blouse length i'll also connect to the bust line as you can see me doing i'll extend the lines to meet the chest line so the next thing i'll do is to reduce this back pattern by 1.5 inches so you can take more than 1.5 inches depending on how open you want the back area to be and you can also add loops or eyelets it depends on what you want for the back so for me i took out 1.5 inches and i went ahead to um, shade that part out because i'm going to be cutting it out for the neckline in case you don't want it to be straight you can go down by one inch or two inches on the center back and then connect it back to the armhole area blouse length i'll go up by 1.5 inches just like i did for the front and i'll come in by another 1.5 inches i'll connect like this and then i'll blend into the um center okay after doing that guys i'm going to go ahead and cut so pay close attention so you know where to cut after cutting guys this is what i have okay these are the patterns for the back all you have to do is to place them on your fabric and you are going to add half an inch all the way around and then go ahead and create as many boning channels as you want okay so yeah guys that is all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful don't forget to like this video leave your questions in the comment section thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one